Good afternoon and welcome to Take Six. I'm News 6 anchor Lisa Bell. And today we're doing something a little different here at News 6. We are known for getting results in the community, but sometimes it takes a minute to get those results. We have a team of investigators and reporters and producers who are constantly working on behalf of people in our community to try and help them solve whatever problems they have. But we want to try and do that in less than eight hours today. And so I am joined now by News 6 anchor Matt Austin, who is out in the community. He's actually in Results 1 right now, and he has met a News 6 viewer who needed some help with some issues. So he's going to try and get results for her today. And she has a couple of challenges that she needs some help with, Matt. Yeah, Lisa, it is a pretty complicated situation that this woman has found herself in. Her name is Brittany Wedgwood. And she had called our station because when Milton came, she lives in a manufactured home. I'm actually in her driveway right now in results one. Thank you to Trooper Steve for letting me uh, borrow this monster truck out here uh, for whatever work we needed to do today. But so she got mandatory evacuation orders from her manufactured home. Her family left, they had to go stay in a hotel, uh, which they are paycheck to paycheck right now. When they got back a couple days later, they found everything in their house was just soaking wet. And so they've been trying desperately to call roofers out to see if a roofer could come out and assess the situation. Apparently this home was built in the 50s or 60s and the roof is not something many roofers want to touch. And on top of that, the family is on food stamps and the food that they had for the week and the last couple of weeks, they're just getting backed up because it's spoiled because the power has been out. So, so we're doing our best to try to help this family all we can today. We have results won, but more importantly, we have our partners. We have DFAR Contracting, who's coming out to take a look at this roof and to assess the situation, to kind of figure out where to go from here with this. And they say these are complicated situations when it comes to a home. So that part of the story, we might not be able to hammer out today. But the family's food situation, we happen to have amazing partners with Light Orlando, who do so many amazing things in the community. I called our contact there, Troy, and uh, we've got something that we're cooking up for that family this afternoon to hopefully make it so they don't have to worry about their meals for a little while. So we have a lot of uh, plates we're working with right here. <laughs> Katrina is helping me. We also have a couple of amazing photographers. Uh, we got a whole team of people on this to try to help this family today in real time. You can follow us on Instagram. Katrina is uploading clickorlando.com pictures and updates there. And of course on News 6 always. So check it out. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe we'll fail. Maybe this will be a disaster. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a huge success. I just hope yeah. we can help this family. There's an adorable little girl in there. Aww. And, uh, we want to get fed. So. We're learning a lot about mobile homes and the kind of rights that homeowners do have because boy is this a mess when it comes to yeah. the emergency side of repairing a home like this it's totally different than a regular home mm -hmm. and i think her as a somewhat new homeowner is learning this the hard way too mm. so if anything maybe what we learned today could help other people in a similar situation in a future storm because it's it's a lot to know i yeah. agree and, and it's a tough situation because she pays rent for the land but right. she bought she and her husband scraped together everything they have ever owned and they bought this place and now some people are wondering if replacing the roof is even worth it compared to the cost of the manufactured home. So oh. this is the only thing keeping this family from being homeless. Wow. Incredibly tough situation, even tougher than uh, I expected. We called a lot of people today to try to figure out who had the biggest need that we could help. I'm still not sure what we're gonna do with this situation, but we're gonna be hitting the phones and we're gonna be working hard to try to get this family some results today and in the long term, just a view and a plan of how we can help them. Yeah. So Lisa, at this point, I'm gonna send it back to you. All right, thanks guys. And I have to imagine that just by you guys being there and making some calls, that in and of itself has to be a big relief for that family. So that's what uh, one of the major stories that we are working on here at News 6 today. Uh, Matt is gonna be live in all of our newscasts starting at four o'clock this afternoon, giving us an update on this process to see what they've been able to do and get done for this family. So be sure to tune in tonight on News 6 and clickorlando.com as we bring you those real-time results live. Again, I'm News 6 Inker Lisa Bell. This has been Take 6. We'll see you back here tonight at 4.